Hello, my amazing people. Good morning to you, and I welcome you to God's Lost You channel. If it's your first time and you like what we do here, kindly subscribe, put on your notification bell to all notification. With this, you'll be able to know when we upload a new video. Here, we react to all forms of videos, international and local, especially what is happening in Nigeria. If you listen to my voice, you will notice that my nose are blocked. This spring season is really dealing with me greatly but i still manage to create content to bring information to your doorstep if i can carry this to make video then you should exercise patience to watch this video i have come to react to a video those that are asking prime minister what have you done prime minister what have you done you said we are going to bring uh, biafra in 2023 2023 have come and gone. No Biafra. What have we done? I want us to watch. I go sit down here. I am here. We will listen to what our brother is saying. But nothing that the Prime Minister have done for the fact that he kept Biafra restoration alive. I was watching somebody yesterday on Facebook. I wouldn't like to mention the person's name. It's just like giving the person credit. He, he, the person brought uh, uh, Mazi Simon at last picture and was like, oh, he have eating money. Look at how his cheek is big. Now, well, let's listen to our brother. I am here. We are going to listen before I continue my comment. Stay tuned. That is when you understand the spiritual uproofment which Fulanis are trying to uproot Igbo race out of this planet earth only when you understand it you will then take that your energy and then then try to look for a way to join that your energy and make that your energy to become a force and how do you make that your energy to become a force is by joining hands with someone that has been ordained for the liberation. You may have your own personal energy, which God created you before bringing you on this planet Earth. You as an Igbo man, you know that there is a powerful energy that is guiding you, that makes you successful in whatever you do in your life. Whereby, you can, you will invest in a business. That business will be growing. The business will be booming. Now, as that your business is booming, you begin to import, you begin, you, you become an importer. Begin to put on container from one container, two container, three container, ten container. These are blessings which God gave to you before coming to this earth. This kind of a thing is not what you can get through prayer. Prayer is a way of communication, a way of self thinking, a way of putting the words back into your mind. A way of liberating your mind, telling yourself things, and reminding yourself some of your responsibilities. But when you understand that the Fulanis knew that you have what they call natural power before coming to this earth, then you will understand that the Fulanis has come to take that land uproot you know a tree when you want to remove a tree that that tree will not germinate again that tree you must go back down to the top root of that tree then you uproot it from there the weight and the blessings of Igbo people is what the fallen is has come to uproot by taking that land away from you that land that gave you that energy because your energy that made you to become a pastor 
you lay hands on people, the people will get healed. You, you, as you people claim, oh, the people will get healed. Our land has a lot of plants, fruits, animals that generated different kind of energy. Energy to heal, energy to kill, energy to create. This land is what Fulanis has come to take away from you. You may, according to Fulani statistics, they say that you who is living abroad, you who is living out of the land, that their own plan is to make you to remain in exile. And the, the land will become the land will become very very uncomfortable for you uh -huh, and the children yes, you have and the children you have in exile if you live comfortable in exile if you live comfortable in exile how do you think that your children is going to live comfortable in a place where you are not you are not able to live these are the things we are talking and when you finally understand this thing you will pick up that your natural energy which you are using to give yourself a self survivor you pick up that energy and generate that energy to Simon Neba who is in front of this game you generate that energy and push that energy the same way Fulanis are pushing their energy to anybody that is leading them. They don't bring out time to criticize their own. They generate energy and push someone up. Yes. That is what you people are supposed to know. Generation of energy. Bring out that your energy that makes you successful in life. The energy that made you to become a successful businessman. The energy that made you to become a good pastor. The energy that made you to become one of the best in the world. No, the energy that gives you the experience of energy. studying and the learning and the understanding. What is left for you as an Igbo man in this life is to understand how to generate energy and push that energy to one person. Let the person be in front. That's why in the Bible they say, we don't need leaders. We don't need president. We need leaders that can lead. Yes. People like Simon Eber and then Nam Dekano. Nam Dekano is in cancellation inside DSA dungeon. Inside DSA dungeon, he cannot do anything. He says, if not because of the place where he is, he would stop insecurity in two minutes he know what to do to stop insecurity in two minutes but he is powerless you know a, de a living dog is better than a dead lion a living dog is better than a dead lion so, now the camera is powerless. Our brother then is the person who has that, that power now of channeling is Simon Eba. In attacking the prime minister, that you should support him so that he will achieve something. Let's interact in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video together with me.